Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be our last trial vlog of the year. Um, Maverick and I are headed this evening to Arkansas for a NASDA trial, and then we are done for 2023. But I figured I would show you guys what I'm bringing for Maverick because I have changed it up just a little bit from the first NASDA trial that we did. I learned some things and thought maybe some other stuff might work better for us. So let me show you that. Look at this little sunshine boy. He does this all the time. <laughs> he likes to lay where the window is and where the sun comes in. One thing I learned at the last trial is that there are some things that you have no need bringing all the way to the room. So I've packed a bag of separate trial stuff that he will not need in the room and it'll just make my trips a lot less and easier <laughs> from the hotel room to the car. So I've got his Canine Tactical Gear Defender Harness. This is the same harness he wore at the last trial. And then I have his 30 foot rolled biothane long line for shed and trailing and locating. And then while I am still bringing the 20 foot lead, I'm actually also bringing Juno's old 10 foot scent work lead because I found in urban 20 was just, it was a lot of lead and the area was so small that I just felt like it was a little too much. Uh, for me to like manage comfortably. So I'm going to try a 10 foot instead. I know some people did that at the last trial. So definitely going to try that. And then with the respiratory situation that has been going around, thankfully not in my area, but to be safe, NASDA has recommended that people bring their own sheds. So I'm doing that. I'm going to bring our four sheds that we have and we'll see what the judge you know, likes out of these and so on. And then I think it's that they also have to be scented by us. So I've got my rack wax here. This is the same wax that the judge used at the last trial. So all of this stuff will just be staying in the car, but it is all of our trial gear. So I'm in line getting a coffee to survive this three hour drive in the pitch blackness. Um, but we've got a podcast lined up always canines talking sense on road trips is my favorite so hopefully this moves pretty fast and we'll get on the road so we are all settled in the hotel it's about 11 o'clock and he's still a little wild, even after a fetch session at the Loves. Uh, that was about an hour ago or so that we stopped and did that. So just let him chew his bone and get some energy out and then hopefully he'll settle down. I will say though, one plus is that this trial uh, doesn't start until like 9 a.m., um, which is much later than I'm like used to for the start of a trial, which is great for tomorrow considering it's so late tonight. It's not going to be great for Sunday uh, starting that late when I want to go home <laughs> after the trial and I have a three hour drive, but um, it will help tomorrow to not have to be up at the crack of dawn. there is my hotel there and then this is like behind the Kmart and I just walked it it looks pretty good um, so I'm gonna get some fetch done with him right now it's a little rainy but it's supposed to die down thankfully it was supposed to pour before that so let's get some of this energy out
a very rainy morning. Um, it's been sprinkling kind of on and off. When I checked the forecast before I left the hotel, it didn't look like there was any rain. Um, but this is 45 minutes from the hotel, so. <laughs> but we have run trailing and locating level one. And he got two out of three. He was very distracted, um, kind of all over the place. But I feel like what he does first, like the first thing he does is kind of like that because he's all spun up. So we're going to do urban next, I think, and then shed. It is going to be a long trial day um, with a 9 a.m. start time and then there's a lot of dogs entered. So um, it's probably going to be a pretty long day and I'm already ready for a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I didn't have time to get coffee this morning, so I know that's part of it. But um, yeah, we will see how the rest of the day goes and hopefully this rain will just kind of chill out a little bit just so that we can be out there and not be wet. I did GoPro all three of his runs and I'm pretty sure I messed up the GoPro every single time. Um, I, know I kept hitting it and I don't know why th today for some reason it just felt like it was in the way. So I'll have to watch it back and see if any of the footage was even good. Um, but I tried. So I will try for the other things as well and hopefully get some decent footage. Boy. Yes, good boy. Maverick, good boy, what's that? Maverick, hey, Maverick, what's that? What's that? What's that right there? Good job. It's weird because it's like 52 degrees outside, which is really not that cold. Um, but I'm cold, and I think he was definitely cold because I gave him his towel initially. Because, you know, the Primo pads, they don't really provide much warmth. Um, but he was still shivering, so I gave him his blanket, too. And now he seems to be more content and sleepy. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe it's just because we're wet that it makes it seem a little bit more cold. Just finished up urban locating, and it didn't go that well. Um, the first one, he tried to pee in, which I had a feeling he was going to try because it was all hay um, and hay bales. The second one he got, but I am pretty sure that I didn't start the GoPro. And then the third one, he just had no idea what I wanted from him. Um, they did things a little bit differently. They did all dogs trial one, all dogs trial two, etc. Versus having each dog run all three trials back to back, which is what they have been doing and what how it was at the other NASA trial that I went to. And so with that, it creates waiting in between, but not enough waiting to like put your dog back in the car. So it's just this awkward middle ground of like 20 dogs just hanging out in a very small area. And so when I'm in a situation like that with Maverick, I have to ask a lot of obedience from him and a lot of focus on me. And so especially in between two and three I had to do that and I think by the time he got to the third one he was just very focused on me which you actually don't want for Nasda you really want the dog to be independent and work independent from you and so he was literally just staring at me <laughs> he was like okay like I'm in here what do you want me to do you want me to climb something do you want me to sit do you want me to down um so that's kind of frustrating I think he could have gotten the third one um but it is what it is. I'm still learning him. You know, we're new to this organization for starters and this, you know, these sports. And then 
I'm new to trialing with Maverick, so I have to learn what works for him, what doesn't work for him, and so on. So that's just going to take some time, but I do believe one Q is enough for his title, so that's good. And then obviously we have more runs tomorrow. Today we still have Shed, so we'll see how Shed goes, but um, overall not a bad day. It's a little cold, it's a little wet, but we're taking home some cues. And like I said, I'm pretty sure he closed out his urban locating level one. So I'll take it, still a win. We are back at the hotel. You can probably hear Maverick chewing his bone in the background, but I went and played a little bit of fetch with him in that grassy area that we did this morning that's across from the hotel. I like how this morning I called it a Kmart. Um, it's definitely a Kohl's. I don't know why I said Kmart. That shows my age a little bit, but yeah. It's a Kohl's. Either way, I'm glad we have at least a little bit of area to play some fetch. But before we left, obviously, we ran our three sheds, uh, shed level ones, and he killed it. So the first one, he took a little bit more time, and then the second two, he was so fast. It was ridiculous. He actually got uh, high in trial on both of the, or what do they call it? High? Yeah, high in trial. First place, basically, on the second two runs trial two and trial three because he was so freaking fast so <laughs> i think he definitely likes uh it being his own shed so just to kind of go over how that worked a little bit um as i mentioned before uh, with everything going around with this respiratory virus um nasda released that we can use our own sheds um and we just give them to the judge so i brought all four of mine um i let the judge decide you know which one met the requirements for use and then she scented it and then for all three runs I just handed her the antler and then I basically <laughs> I basically like put Maverick in like a bear hug with his face so he couldn't see where she was putting it because obviously he would remember where she put it so I just kind of like hugged him to my chest so that he couldn't see where she was um, tossing the shed and then obviously we ran our three runs. Maverick! Good boy! Find shed! Sorry bud! Find the shed! Find the shed! Come on, bud! Good boy! Find the shed! Come on, bud! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Come here. <laughs> Good boy! I think, yeah, I don't know. I think he just really liked it being his own shed, but he killed it on all three of those. So he also earned his shed dog level one. So I'm going to show you his rosettes and ribbons from today. And yeah. Sweet. You're being very sweet. Yeah, you're being sweet. Still out of breath from fetch, yeah. And chew on your bone. Okay, let's show him your stuff. <laughs> so today he had six qualifying runs. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. You're getting all your goobers on them. <laughs> so he had six qualifying runs today, two trailing and locating, one urban, and three shed dog, all level one. He got a best of breed in one of his trailing and locatings, and then two high in trials in his sheds. And then these are his new title ribbons. 
and then they do little tabs for what they're for. So I will put those on when I get home. They've got the little sticky, but I'll probably hot glue them too, just to make sure they stick on there pretty good. Good morning from day two. We are just getting some fetch in. It is very cold this morning. And a little bit foggy. Hoping that'll lift a little bit. But the boy is happy. He's getting to play fetch. The car says it's 38 and there's some ice. We had some ice on the windshield this morning, but Ooh, it's cold. Look at that bubble. Oh. Is it my little gummy? Yeah. Ready? Ready? He does. Get the rat. Yes, good boy, good boy. Baby, look, good boy. <laughs> Ready? Get the rest. Good boy. Good boy. Come back. Let's go, bud. Okay. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Maverick. Oh, look at that good. Ready? Get the wrap. Good boy, look at what this, good boy. Oh yeah, good job. Good job, bud. Great. Get that shit. Yes, good boy, yes, good boy. Baby. <laughs> okay, you can do that. <laughs> We're gonna boy. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You can look. Ready? On the shed. Maverick. Come on, bud. Good boy.
me. Good boy, good boy, get it. Can you get it for mama? Get it. Yeah, good job, oh, good job. Good.